Hello there. Okay, welcome to part two of A Beginner's Guide to Armoured Warfare. We're back. We're on the um, desktop. Why? Well, logged in again. I now get some money. Get your bonus. There we go. Hit the play button. Hopefully that's an extra 2,000 credits sitting in the thingy. Now then, if you're perspicacious, you will realise that there's a slight difference, um, which I will show you about shortly. And if you're wondering why I said perspicacious, <clears throat> blame Freitag. I'm saying no more than that. The man is a menace, quite frankly. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. You'll have to forgive me. I've just received a couple of new sonic screwdrivers, which makes me very happy. Oh, look, my dot com. I know that. And Obsidian. Okay, let's load this up, and then we'll start looking. We're still on the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the garage. We've unlocked certain parts of the garage I want to show you about. I'm also going to try to do a PvP mission. Uh, one... I'm not very good at PvP, and two, we need to have a quick look how many people are queued. I should point out, again, this is a beta. So, um, yeah. Okay, so when we played that mission at the end of the last game, we got the chance to do this, to upgrade. And I have taken that opportunity. I've upgraded some of the weaponry, some of the ammo I can use. I've uploaded a gun, I've uploaded the other weaponry, I've up changed the engine, put in a stabiliser ventilation system. To upgrade it is simple enough. As you can see this here has the orange lettering which tells you basically how much reputation you need to, to unlock it. Once that comes up you get green lettering which tells you how much credits or how many credits you need. Okay. Dealers. This is important because it is not as simple as just earning the reputation, upgrading the vehicle, maxing the vehicle out, and that's it. There's more to it than that. So let's look at Wolfie. And this thing here is really starting to annoy me. Let's put that up there. Okay, so as you can see, on the left-hand side are the premium vehicles you can buy uh, using gold, which can be bought from the my.com store, or... Um, as you can see the top right here, purchase gold. Um, take your pick. I would, if I'm honest with you, learn to play the game first before buying a premium tank. For a start, your fellow players will thank you, because you'll know what you're doing in it. But secondly, you'll know what particular tank you type of tank you like. You know, do you like playing tank destroyers? Do you like playing wheeled vehicles? Do you like playing main battle tanks? So anyway, here, whoops, as you can see, you can zoom in and move it around. Uh, the M113. Now, I haven't played that yet in this, but it goes on to unlock the Pattern 48 and the Lev 150. Okay. Both of those get unlocked with the M113 reaching 100%. But as you're doing it, you will notice that you're slowly starting to unlock these tiers. And I think it would be better if I showed you in Shiskin. Here we go. You see we've got the PT-76. It's slowly getting to unlock the T-54 and the M-41. The T-54 is a Russian uh, main battle tank. The M-41 is an American light tank. Um, same as in a certain other tank game, but here they're very low tier. But as you can see, it's starting to unload, unload, unlock other stuff. But there's more than just experience you need. You see down here, Tier 5, Chieftain Mark V, there's other stuff. You need to either battle in PvP or on your missions. Um, to battle, you need four, 43,650 potential damage mitigated. You've got to bounce that amount of damage with Shiskin's vehicles to unlock that. Or you can use Global Reputation. Um, which I'll go through again in a moment. Um, for tactical artillery, uh, in PvP, not out of 50 battles fought with... So 50 battles fought with Shiskin's things, or 75 PvE missions. Again, there are more premium vehicles. Zhang Feng is slightly different. 
Um, he starts on tier 3 to get the Chinese main battle tanks. And if you're wondering who that is, that's right, Arg. Um, uh, to unlock the main battle tanks, okay, you need to basically do 120,000 damage to enemy vehicles whilst within 50 meters of friendly vehicles. It doesn't matter if you're using Wolfie or Shiskin's vehicles, that's the thing. That's in PvP. In PvE, um, it's 600,000. However, again, you can use Global Reputation to unlock it, or, in this particular instance, you can buy the WZ-1224. A premium main battle tank, it's quite good actually, and it will unlock the Chinese tree for you. However, so there we stand at the moment. Main battle tanks, the Russian main battle tank tree there. The Western European main battle tanks, which is actually my favourite tree. I love my challengers, and the Chieftain, and the Arietta. Then you've got the BMDs, fire support vehicles. They're a lot of fun. They really are. And then the high calibre light armour, which you'll see some of these in the game itself. And artillery Wolfie, or Wolfie, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. You've got your leopards, German tanks. Um, fast, fairly well armoured. Um, yeah. American main battle tanks. Exporting freedom across the world. Yippee. Um, they're not bad. The Starship I particularly recommend just for the uh, lols. It's got a massive cannon on it and it just deletes things from the game, basically. BMPs are okay. Um, they do have a problem with gun depression, I'm going to be honest. But they're alright. The recon vehicles, <laughs> these are the ones which are difficult to drive, quite frankly. These two are okay, the XM800T in particular is very popular. The Fox is a nightmare to drive. The VBL's better. The Weasel, well, it's tracked, so it's okay. The Crabs are getting the Sphinx. Once you've upgraded the Sphinx at Tier 10, it's very difficult to drive. And here are your main tank destroyers, your wheeled tank destroyers. They are wonderful. They really are very, very good. And again, you've got more um, artillery. Artillery in this game is different. Um, the top-down view is different, and you can fire support rounds such as smoke or illumination rounds to light up things on the map. Um, however, that only comes in at tier 6, which would be in this particular game, the ak 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 thing. Okay, so let's go back to the garage for a second. Up here, we have Global Reputation, and this would be Locked Reputation. This is the reputation you would earn uh, either using a premium tank, or if you max out, or give a, t a vehicle proven status, 100% um, on its uh, experience, you start to get Locked XP. You use Gold to unlock that XP, which then becomes global reputation, and you can then use it on anything else. Okay, good. That should be simple enough. So, we need to do a PvP mission. So, here we go. It's not looking hopeful tonight, I'm going to be blunt. Bit of a shame. Um, you see, it should be 15 versus 15. However, this is the European server. It's I think it's gone 10 o'clock at night. And we're playing at Tier 1. As you can see, there's certainly the um, vehicles around there. But let's just wait and see for a second. As you can see up here, you've got credits, your gold. I've shown you the active boosts. This um, will tell you about stats. In fact, we're going to do this whilst we're waiting to get in, if we get in. Uh, okay, so it gives you your alpha damage and your penetration. Your sustained damage, your DPM, damage per minute, and the reload time. Your hit points, mobility, camouflage and view rating, your cannon depression, accuracy spread, which is basically mm, when you fire the gun, just how accurate will it be? Then you got armor. Now, like, what I like quite like about this little thing of the armor is it shows you um, the different strengths of your armor depending what's being fired at you. 
However, in this particular instance, um, this will not light up simply because it offers equal protection against all other ammo types. Well, we're getting there's 11 members waiting to go in. The reason it's so low again, it's a beta. Here, actually, view replays. We'll come to that later and show high global chat. Yeah, I tend to avoid that. Up here is your settings menu. You can, it, well, to be blunt with you, it's fairly obvious what you can do. You've got your graphics, sound, controls, gameplay, UI, social, etc. Go through that, have a little look. I think we're going to be here a little while yet. Yeah. I may have to play another PvE mission. The trouble is, to get any way forward, um, I need to take the tank up to 100%. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off and do that, and I shall rejoin you when we've reached 100% on the PT-76. How does that sound? All right, I shall be back in a moment. Right then, welcome back. I've played another PvE game, and I'm about to go into a PvP match. Now, this is the first PvP match for this particular account. So you'll be able to see. Here we go, high wall. You don't get high wall in a PvE mission. As you can see, 15 versus 15. And I'm incredibly fond of this map, I'm going to be honest with you. Variety of different types of vehicle. And levels. Um, I think there's a gap of about two. And that was my cat getting in the way. Again, if you come from another tank game, you, you'll know the score on this, but we're going to take it gently. Okay, we have the countdown. We're at the top of the map there. This is either capture the enemy base, which is down here, or destroy all their vehicles and try not to get destroyed in the meantime. If you're wondering what these are, I will explain afterwards. Ah, uh, yes. Please come and join our guild. Okay, now we're in a light tank. So, we don't so much do scouting in a light tank in this game. We leave that to the AFVs. We're fast support, if we know where we're going. <laughs> we support the main battle tanks, because we can nip across the battlefield quickly enough. We Let's go behind this Type 59 here, shall we? Now, luckily it's Tier 3, so it's extremely unlikely we're going to have any artillery in this game. However, there is some Tier 3 artillery. Which is a British one, and the Abbott. Look at that. It's a great map. Graphics in this game are really superb. So, let's go along. I uh, better warn you, I am the world's worst PvP player in the world ever. In the world. Okay, so we've got a bit of a lemming train down here. My fault. But I'm following them. But the whole idea is to try to stay alive a bit longer than I normally do, so that I can show you a few bits and pieces. High Wall has a variety, as you can tell, of different levels to it. Um, some people don't like it, but I do. Okay, battle has been joined, it seems. Right, now can I go around? I think I can, or have I missed the chance? I've missed the chance, there's a shame. Hang on a second, if we go around this way. And... I'll try and outflank them. In fact, someone's coming down the rear. Type 59. Ah, oh, maybe that'll take. Not brilliant. But we've got a T62 there. And I might be in a position. Aha! My gun depression. Now I've got gun depression. Typical. Let's go in a bit closer. Nope. Okay. Ah! Don't fall off. And you see, I've been spotted. Okay, so I'm going to back this T-62 up. PvP in this game hurts. 
Whereas in certain other games I could mention, such as World of Tanks. Hello. <laughs> nope. Um, you can get into good slogging matches. It can be a bit difficult to do the same in this game. A couple of hits and, well, you did. I'm not going to pen this guy, mate. What about heat? I know heat doesn't have as much penetration, but it's exp high explosive, so might do some damage. No it's apparently not. Load AP. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, he's gone pop. Let's get going. Let me go forward before you. Let the FV go forward before you. V, there he goes. Oh, yes, the XM800T. Trust me, you're going to get to love that little AFV. You really are. Okay. Can we see anything here? You can go pop. You're not going to make me go pop, mate. Not straight away, certainly. Hi. Okay. Move out of the way a bit. Tempt him. Oh, hang on. What's that up there? And can I? Go on, move back a little bit. Not you, him. Ha <laughs> ha! We have a kill! Yes! We have two kills. This is good. One kill for me. One kill for matey blokey person. Alright, let's hit E and see if we can't just get towards their base and start doing nasty things to their base. Uh, e, like I say, the special ability gives us an engine boost. Now I think I'm going to get have a nasty shot before much longer. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, let's move back. Ammo up. Gently does it. Good thing is I am spotting these guys, hopefully. Load AP. Identify target. Hostile tank. So that's hopefully some of my cohorts can at least be aware of what's going on. And I am starting to get comedy clown wheel syndrome. You hear that? And there we go. I was killed. No kidding. Now, what you can do, of course, now is you can start to go around. Okay, so we've got an M113. What else we've got? T62s. How healthy are they looking? They're actually looking quite healthy so far. The pattern and the M113 are in very bad way. You now, you can either control and left click on one of these and it'll take you to other places, or you can just right click and you'll go around in order. Run away, little M113! Run away! Oh, oh! Flee! Flee! Hide behind the big digger! Oh, it was so sad. Okay, this T62 is about to cop it. I think this might be a loss, somehow. Oh, this isn't going to go well. This is going to hurt. Oh, the poor creature. Dear, dear, dear. And that is apparently me. <coughs> I've looked better. Go on. T62, I think. Now, is that? Yes. I think that's either a Chinese or a Russian tank. I'm not sure. We've lost. They capped. However, this gives me a chance to show you a few things. That's the very sad defeat music you can hear. Now, we're at 70% on the uh, tank. That will have got 30% out of that. But it may just be one more game, so we'll have a look 
and we'll see 91% yeah one more game that's good okay so 513 experience or reputation 19,944 uh, gross figure did 458 damage spotted 5 and spotting damage as well performance <sighs> poor frankly but that's me how did we do all told well damage not bad reputation not bad which shows just how bad our team was and there we go there's the net figure there and what you could have earned with premium however this is down other stuff for example daily challenge mash spotter i've just earned 150,000. i also managed to upgrade a little bit so let's see what we can get let's show you how to upgrade i've told you before that i'm already doing some i've already done some of these so Let's unlock the sites and buy them. That increases the grew, grew range. <laughs> the view range. Okay, title, waterproof. And some free money, just for XP. Hooray, we like free money. Free money is good. Okay, so our progress is up to 91%. We can use the free global reputation there to help to increase things. That might take us up by, what, 1%? There we go. That's something. Excellent. So now, all I need to do is one more PvE mission. But before I do, let's just show folks about the consumables that I've unlocked. Okay, as you can see, you get st your repair kits or spare parts. You get fire extinguishers, be they auto, which I need, um, or normal. First aid kits, large one. Also, in, you know, they, they come with buffs, the large ones. Um, stuff for your crew and stuff for your engine and then there's these things med kits basically low tier field maintenance kit they will support restore 20% of your vehicle hit points and ammunition instantly once you hit tier 5 you get a field rebuild kit which um, if you hit it before you die you'll get all your health back and ammunition and then if you die you hit it again or hit it instead and you will get hmm, about 50 to 60 percent of your health back uh, you'll respawn basically in a close place get 60 percent health and ammunition um, i like to call it a pill from miracle max you get yourself a miracle okay ammunition um tick best available and I've got the best available up there. Uh, which, you know, is fair enough. Crew. Have the crew earned anything? Nothing yet. Commander? Nothing yet. It's a shame, but there we go. So, consumables on auto resupply. I think between you, me, and the gatepost, we should do a PVE mission, don't you? Let's do this, and hopefully, we'll be ready to rock. I say hopefully. Who can tell? There we go. Almost straight in. I didn't see which mission it was, actually. The missions rotate about every five minutes. So if there's one you're not particularly fond of, you can go away, make a nice cup of tea, and come back and do a different one. Operation Cavalry! This is a good one. This is a fun one. One thing you will notice about planes in this game they don't tend to stay in the air very long. They have accidents. It's so sad. So here we are. And apparently we are waiting for other players. Now I haven't played the 113 simply so that I could get this to 100% just to show you what happens. Okay, I've got an automatic fire extinguisher install that's why it's gray down yeah watch out for the plane it's going to come in from top left you can see the secondary objectives here you're going up against the lions of neck wheel here oh Pretty those lions of neck wheel may be littered with sam sites if that's the case our jets are in trouble hello Nailed them. I think one thing's a hell of a lot easier. 
And um, PvP. Enemy destroyed. Black Company, change of plan. My planes been hit Oops. to the intel from their hard drive about the lion. Find the plane, get the intel, and see if there are any survivors. Come on, there was one over there. Yes. Direct hit. My um, record for kills is 17. The thing is, you will find. Target down. As you progress higher up, you start to kill less because that tanks have got better armor, nice they've got better. Hello, was that? Whoa, who on earth is shooting me? Oh, finally, there. Let's get under a little bit of cover. Um, things are harder to. Something else over there. Things are harder to uh, kill. In one of three is gone, but there's still something else over there. I'm sure there is. So much so, I might go and have a quick look. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Let's go at the top here, which is a bit stupid considering my lack of gun depression, but what Careful the hell. In there, the lions of Nequil town. So proceed with extreme caution. There's You'll no get to like the lions of Nequil. Penetrator. Also PC, mark. There we go. You can see the AFV's special ability kicking in there. Any hits that penetrate on the vehicle will do full damage. Obviously it's on a timer, but whilst that timer is active... Whilst that timer is active, and that's hit mine for the repair kit... Um, it's constantly spotted. Now, can I see this guy? No, I can't. Okay. You can see him there. Good. What else have we got? Let's go up here. Also, armoured fighting vehicles get a bonus to their view range after three seconds of being stationary. Which I think you'll find is quite useful. As you can see, in the bushes here, I'm, in I'm camouflaged. In fact, you can go a little bit away behind the bushes and you'll still be camouflaged. Okay. Identify. Hostile tank. Direct hit. Ah, missed. Enemy destroyed. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm a child. Identify target. Ooh, Hostile something tank. nasty. Have I missed? Back, 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 back. Nailed them. Target hit. Good. What else we got? There are times when you can just go on a killing spree, which is a lot of fun. However, you need to actually have a clear view range on the tanks, which I haven't got, unfortunately. Can I see that? No, I can't. So I move forward. Now, we can cap, and there's a good chance I'm going to, to be honest with you, just to show you guys where the cap is on this particular mission. It's here. Oh, look, it's the remains of a plane. Sneak in here. Why? Because I'm a coward. Or I'm sensible. The choice is yours. Can we see it? No, we can't. AFEs also get a bonus to capping. I'm not in an AFE, I'm in a light tank. But it's useful information to know. Okay, 16 seconds left. That Love 150 is going for the final secondary. 
some stage very, very soon. Good work. You've cleared the skies for us. Um, the secondary missions will actually be. You get bonuses, individual bonuses for. Oh dear, don't cap. There's always somebody who says don't cap. But I want to stay alive, so I'm going to. Right, hopefully that should unlock, uh, well, give the PC-76 the proven status, 100% rep, and also unlock everything else, and I'm going to start taking you around the rest of the garage. Hopefully. At some stage. Oh, it wasn't me, I didn't. Dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do love watching chat in these things. It makes me laugh. Need some sort of music to cover this up, don't I? I'm not going to, though. Last time I tried to dub music on it, it all went wrong. New rank earned! Hooray! Select new vehicle, purchase it with credits. Look, credits, I've been awarded 50,000. Because I'm special. New vehicles, hooray! We can buy both of them as well. Take your pick, hooray! There we go. Now, this is going to keep going. Alright. And I am going to show you how to buy things, don't worry. Teams, how do we do there? Eh, been worse, been better. Okay. The only thing missing from here is the base. And that is basically um, a way of providing buffs for your account, uh, better global reputation, more credits earned, less costs for repairing a vehicle, um, less cost to purchase premium time, which is great. And every evening you get about 100 resources to save up and go on your base. That is not there yet. However, Okay, let's exit basic training for the moment. And there's the base I can show you. We've got 500 raw materials to collect. So that gives us 800. Garage. Repair cost minus 2%. The Academy. Increases commander XP earned. The Airport. Reduces costs of retrofits. The Barracks. Increases crew XP earned. The Command Center. Increases global reputation earned. The helipad increases the amount of money you get after each mission or battle. And the recon post reduces the cost of premium time. Well, I think for the moment what we're going to do is we're going to build an academy. We're going to build an airport. We're going to build a barracks because reasons. We're going to build a command center. And we have 400 left. We've got enough to build one of everything. And there will be more buildings coming soon. But as you can see, your base is slowly kicking off. It's it's good. That noise was my cat doing jumping. Don't even ask. So let's go back to the garage and let's have a look at a couple of things we haven't yet seen. Battalion. That is your guild. Or not as the case may be if you're not in the guild, which we're not at the moment. Dossier. This is you. What have we done? Win rate, 0%. <laughs> Kill to death ratio, 50-50. Um, damage ratio, 35% to 65%. Remember, I've only played one PvP match. PvE. That. Vehicles. We've only got the one vehicle, but it'll give you details about that. And achievements. Not much at the moment yet. Now then, you'll see these. These are camouflage things. So let's click on this to show you the camouflages. Have we got any owned? We have none owned. These are decals. And you can get for 7 days, 30 days, or permanently for your current vehicle, or permanently for all vehicles. And it costs gold to do so. However, there's also camouflages. You unlock these base camouflage paints. Can I do it? Just to show you? No, I can't. Um, through playing games. We would have unlocked already that one. There we go. 
Um, these are free. You don't pay for your base camos. For the rest of the camouflage, however, you do. And it's not necessarily gold. For seven days, for example, 20,000. Which, you know, fair enough. And indeed, we can um, chuck something on there. What can we chuck on? 20,000. Let's chuck that on. Come on. It'll spawn in any seconds now. There we go. We now have for desert camouflage. We have a desert camouflage PT-76, which is good. They're going to be introducing uh, quite a lot of variations on the camouflage. However, we need to buy some more tanks, don't we? So let's go to upgrade. As you can see, it's all upgraded. It's up to 100%. It's unlocked these two tanks. Let's go to dealers. Now, was it Shuskin we were doing or Volfi? It was Shuskin. We've now got both of these unlocked. But also, as you can see, these are starting to go up a bit more. So let's buy the T-54. And let's buy the M-41. We've now got Tier 2 tanks. The M-41 is a light tank. It's a lot of fun to play. The T-54, good, solid, Tier 2 main battle tank. Um, like I say, enjoy them. Dealer Access, rank 1. That's a new award. Let's have a look at it. Unlock multiple vehicles across all tiers. As each one comes with a reward 10%, 500 grand, 1 million credits, purchase 5 Tier 6 vehicles, all that sort of stuff. So, that is about it, if I'm honest with you. If you follow this guide, hopefully you should have no trouble at all playing Armoured Warfare and enjoying Armoured Warfare. Remember, this is a game. It's light-hearted. It's fun. There's no point getting grumpy about things. There's no point, oh, I don't know, throwing rage fits. Because I guarantee you, somebody out there, probably me, We'll take what you've said and just plop it up in a YouTube video just for the sheer giggles. <laughs> Basically, folks, enjoy yourself. Have fun. Explore the game. There's lots of good stuff coming up. And, well, quite frankly, I'll see you out there. Doodles. Doodles.